Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are looking at another new feature in 23H2, Windows 11 23H2 that is, that being some updates to the taskbar. So there's a few things we can do now with the taskbar that were previously unavailable in Windows 11, so let's take a look. The first one is going to be under settings or personalization, settings personalization taskbar, and then taskbar behaviors. And we see here that we can combine taskbar buttons and hide labels. I have that on always, which is your defaults. You're probably used to this in Windows 10, 11. You can now do never or when taskbar is full. And what this will do is it'll ungroup those icons and it'll also display the labels. I'm, I'm really not a big fan of that, but I did get some comments on a previous video. I, I guess people like this. So, you know, for those who do, it's there. That's cool. You can do that on the main monitor. You can adjust it for the main monitor, which is this first one. And then when it says other taskbars, this is really if you have another monitor, or multiple monitors with taskbars running as well. So you can go ahead and turn that on or off, or you can do it when taskbar is full. So if you have a lot of icons here, it'll do it once the taskbar fills up. I'm gonna put mine on never because I prefer that. I'm sorry guys, that was backwards logic. I'm gonna put mine on always because I prefer that. I always prefer the combined icons. Okay guys, so that is one feature that was rolled out. Pretty cool. You know, I guess if you if you like that, it's obviously really cool. To me it feels like a, a throwback, so a little bit of nostalgia there for you. Um, so what else do we have now guys? Let's see. What they did bring back was the ability to right click the taskbar and go straight to task manager. Now this was taken out in previous versions, but it's back. I personally like this. Um, I'm a big uh, CLI or, you know, right click run, not even, usually I Windows key R and I'll just start typing in whatever I need here, right? So I learned a lot of the shortcuts over the years, but hey, this is even faster if you just want task manager. So very cool. I appreciate all the little shortcuts as a IT professional because you know you start putting those in your tool belt and you just become more and more efficient over time. So that's another good feature in my opinion. I give it a thumbs up for that one as well. Another cool one is the ability to hide and show the clock. So we can come here and go adjust. You see I currently have it hidden. If we right click in that system tray we can go to adjust date and time. And along with the date and time settings we can come here and we can do uh, let's see, where is it at? Show or hide the, oh, right here in front of my face, show time and date in the system tray. So we can turn that on, it'll show the time and date, we can turn that off, it'll hide it. I kind of like that because, I mean, if you're streaming or you're recording, you don't always necessarily want people to know what time you were doing it. Not a big deal, but hey, why not have that feature there? Uh, another feature that's pretty cool, guys, is the start menu. So if we come here, we can go to all apps. And in Windows 11 23H2, they did make it pretty obvious which apps are system apps versus which apps are non-system apps. So we'll take a look. You see the little label for new there. They also have one for system. Let's see if we can find one right here. So we've got a few system apps. And this is nice because now you know right away, hey, what's this thing doing here? Oh, it's a system app. It's It came with Windows built into the system. All right, last but not least, guys, they got rid of the chat feature down here on the taskbar, and they replaced it with the built-in free version of Teams. So you'll now see this on your taskbar by default. So those are a few features that were updated in Windows 11 23H2 regarding the taskbar and the start menu. Let me know what you guys think. Which ones do you like? Which ones do you hate? Which ones will you be using? Which ones will you not be using? All right, guys, I've got more on the way, so if you enjoy this type of stuff, consider hitting that like button. Leave me a comment. I always, I pretty much always reply to all of my viewers that comment. Um, consider hitting that notification bell and subscribing because, like I said, I've got more stuff on the way, and I hope you're interested in this type of content, and if you are, that way you won't miss anything. Alright guys, this was a quick one, just giving you some uh, quick information on the 23H2 taskbar updates. I hope you all have a great day. Until the next one, take care.